Hello, today I'll show you how to add a player to the farming game in Scratch. As you can see, this is the player, and it can buy any plot or plant seeds. But if it's far away, like here, then it can't. But if it's close enough, it can. And same for buying plots. So let's get started. First, go into your farming game and paint a new sprite. Name it Player. Now, name this costume Player Idol. Use the box tool and make the fill any color. Now, press Shift and create a box. Or, and make it a good size. Use the line tool and create a line. Now, duplicate this. Place both in the middle, move this one a bit in the middle, and then up. Now duplicate this, name it Player Move. Select the eyes and move them here. Then duplicate this, name it Player Down. Select both of them, place it in the middle, and slightly downwards. Now duplicate player down and name it player up. Select both of them and move them really up. Now, when green flag is clicked, go to zero, zero. Then create a new variable named player speed. For this sprite only, I set player speed to 1.5 or any other number, and also set rotation style to left and right. Now, forever, if select menu is less than 1, then Switch costume to player idle if key up arrow pressed. Switch costume to player up and create two new variables named x for this sprite only and y for this sprite only. Now, up here set x and y to zero. And then in here, change Y by player speed, duplicate this, key down arrow pressed, switch costume player down, and change Y by player speed times negative 1. Now duplicate those two, key right arrow, change X by player speed, Switch costume to player move and point in direction 90. Now, if left arrow, change X by player speed times 90. Switch costume to player move and point in direction negative 90. Now, when I receive open select menu, repeat 10 times change ghost by 10 duplicate this when I receive closed select menu repeat 10 times change ghost effect by negative 10 now go into the farming sprite and then find if touch mouse pointer then we do a if on top of everything if and then a less than if distance to player is less than grid times 1.25 then then all of this will happen. 
now if you test it oh yeah and also make sure in player at the very bottom make sure to add a set in here actually all the way down here set x to x times 0 0.7 change x by x duplicate this set y to y times 0 0.7 and then change y by y now if you test it as you can see the player moves and you can only select parts or plots from a certain distance now you have a player in your farming game thank you for watching and have a fantastic day